A question of character. character. Klua is the cat person of adventure. Wahoo! The Klua warrior cry within Klua's chest beats the drum of adventure. He chases its rhythm using the power of humor. Yupo is not a martial art. Yupo is a martial friend. Yupo has come from the skies via golden ring and into Klua's life, which is a beautiful and glorious nightmare. Klua has recurring dreams of terror. Yupo comforts him. They are connected through the powerful wind ring. Wind bullet. Klua's enemies are captured after his thrust, then inflated. His captured enemies risen above his head. And twirled mirthfully to express dominance and launched at his foes to a colorfully shaped filled death and that's his only weapon but Klua needs no other weapon because everything is his weapon Mu is his weapon Zippo is his weapon Glyphs is his weapon whatever is possessed by the wind ring becomes Klua's ammunition and he will need it for Gadius a dark spirit awakened from a 3,000 year slumber looking to transform Klua's living dream world of Phantom Isle into a nightmare because he's bitter Klua has no time for emotionally inept dark overlords or their clown minion friends. Joker. Klua rises to the challenge. Wahoo! Wahoo indeed. He is configured of a cat, but possesses human qualities. And the fashion sense no regular house cat could ever achieve. A floppy hat embroidered with the legend Pac-Man. Episode 56. A neck belt. A pants belt. Recreational shorts. Oversized hiking boots. And giant ears not just used for listening but for flying as much as Kloa is accustomed to flying he is always horrified of it <laughs> Kloa completes vision from his hometown village of Breezegale to the forest of Forlock to find Granny to finally the mysterious Moon Kingdom to rescue the diva Lafise, captured by Gaddis, aided by Joker, his shape-shifting clown assistant. Nothing about his evilness is funny, except when he slaps his own soldiers with a dolphin fin. This is funny. Klua is unafraid of Gaddis' power or his ridiculous and oversized headgear. Klua is the master of oversized headgear. Even while topless, he withstands a surprising amount of damage. Measured in hearts, Kloa cannot hop on heads. Bubbles equal pain. Neon or golden hearts replenish his strength. Kloa uses his enemies as ammunition. Come here. I will use your carcass to leap for secrets. I need gems. <laughs> your bodies are used for the adventure. To solve landscape puzzles. How can I use your disgusting life force to reach this ledge? This is how I should use your pitiful carcass to reach this ledge. Right. Besides Hupo's unwavering dedication and friendship, Klua meets other friends. Tower building friends. Ridiculous forest soldier friends. Fish friends that want him to rescue their mommy by beating their mommy until they are good. Mommy, mommy rescue. rescue. Power. Moderate. Klua's windering is excellent against general enemies, but can't hurt shielded ones and incapacitates giant ones through inflation. Or not not at all. Thankfully, he uses their bodies in ways they never thought possible. Did you ever think that you could be moon cannon ammunition? Well, you are. Defense. Moderate. Kloa takes many blows, but continues his missions and visions as well. He is never too far from loving resuscitation. Agility. Excellent. Kloa hops amongst the leaves, flying with the elegance of a cat with giant ears, always landing on his feet because he is an upright and standing cat person. Grade B. Plua is not fire resistant, but he is failure resistant. Because the Temple of the Sun Knights, Solar and Soleil, will get nasty if he fails. Plua will not allow them to get nasty. Nor will he let Gadius complete his terrible mission. Or stop Hupo from speaking in Super Soprano. He faces the saddest of tragedies, but continues on. Defeats hilariously named evil, like Rongo Longo. Discovers Hupo's true identity and uncovers what is reality, what is dream. Because if you are evil, then Klua is your worst nightmare.
unless it's what Gaddius releases, because then that would be your worst nightmare. In fact, that would be everyone's worst nightmare. But Kluwa's definitely a close second. If you're evil. Because Kluwa is not a nightmare to good people. Unless those good people are being bad. Then he is mommy's worst nightmare. But mommy's actual worst nightmare. Stop it! Next episode. X. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character. Babaji! Oh.